What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a 10 minute upper abs workout using absolutely no equipment at all. Intermediate level two abs. So there's a beginner version. You can check it out by going through the link at the top of the screen right now. For today's workout, exercise one is going to be 40 seconds. Then we're going to take a 20 second break in between and move on to exercise two to repeat for another 40 seconds. So we're going to do this for about 10 different exercises before we go ahead and call it. So I hope you guys are ready to work because we're going to be working for this one right here. So upper abs, just make sure you're ready to hit your serratus as well. So your serratus is a part of your upper abs or around where your upper abs is located. Complete one or two rounds in one sitting or throughout the day. So you can do it both together two rounds or you can do them throughout the day one in the morning one at night up to you so our first exercise here is single x double crunch for this one right here all you have to do is crunch from one elbow to the opposite knee do that for both of them so alternate it and then you want to finish up with a regular ab crunch For our next one here, we're going to switch to a plank position, a high plank position, and we're going to do some plank knee taps. For this one, you want to make sure that you're reaching all the way to your knees each time. So the opposite knee is where you want to reach for to make sure you're crunching your upper abs each time. So we're back on our back for our next one right here, which is NX out dive. So we're going to make sure that we're diving between our legs and then we're moving our legs close together and then diving outwards. So a lateral crunch outwards and a lateral crunch inwards. <music> We're going to remain on the ground for our next one right here, which is just a simple straight arm crunch. All you want to do is lift your arm straight up into the air and just lift your body up as high as possible. So lift as high as possible each rep, crunching your upper abs in the process. <music> Right up next, we have something that's really fun to do, ab walkouts. At least I enjoy doing ab walkouts. For this one, you wanna walk backwards from a high plank position and it just walk back until you feel some tension in your hamstrings and you feel your upper abs crunch. <music> Thank you. 
Okay, we're just past halfway right now. For number six, we have elevated heel tap. For this one, all you want to do is elevate your legs and just make sure that you're reaching towards your heels. So reach outwards with your hands. So it's like you're crunching and working your serratus and your upper abs at the same time. Right up next, we're back in a plank position, and for this one, we're going to be doing plank elbow to knee. For this one, you wanna make sure that you're bringing your elbow to your knees each time with force, so your upper abs get crunched in the process. We're almost to the finish line here. So for number eight, we have upper ab hold. The thing to note for this one is you want to hold your upper body in a crunch position for 40 seconds. For number nine, we have some pike ups. For this one, all you have to do is go from a high plank position into a pike up position. You wanna make sure that you're crunching your upper ab every time, so get that full stretch in and out. Finally, for number 10, we have some alternating knee to elbows. The goal for this one is to make sure you're reaching from one elbow towards the opposite knee each time. So just alternate that movement and keep doing that while crunching your upper abs.
And that's the last one right there. Congrats. Thanks for watching, you guys. I will catch you guys in my next video. It's your boy Midas, and I'm out of here, y'all.